Hello all and welcome to today's lesson where the learning objective is to know how to use the power to a power rule. So this is continuing our work on laws of indices. On the board are six questions. This is your retrieval practice. Pause the video here for 10 minutes and work through those six questions. We'll mark them afterwards so make sure you've got a green pen ready. Pause the video now please. And your six answers to those starter questions are shown on the board now. Mark in green pen and give yourself a score out of six. Just bear in mind this first one says two to the power of five times five. Okay. So mark those now. Pause the video if you need to. Right. Okay. So I said that today we would be learning how to use the power to a power rule. This is our next law of indices. So you can see here we've got four to the power of four in brackets and that's all raised to the power of nine. And the trick here is that we multiply this power inside the bracket by the one outside. So 4 to the power of 4 raised to the power of 9 is equal to 4 to the power of 4 times 9. Okay, so 4 times 9 gives me 36. So this is equal to 4 to the power of 36. Please pause the video there, copy that first example down, and then do the we do for yourselves. We'll go through the answers afterwards. So for the first we do, 5 to the power of 4, all raised to the power of 3. Remembering our rule is that we multiply these two indices, so 4 times 3 gives me 12. So our final answer should be 5 to the power of 12. We'll go on to the next example shortly. Okay, so example 2. Here we can see a slight difference in our example because we have a negative power inside the bracket. But it doesn't change our method. 4 to the power negative 4, all raised to the power 9. Again, we multiply the power inside the bracket by the power outside the bracket. So negative 4 times 9. Remembering that a negative times a positive number gives a negative answer. 4 times 9 makes 36. So negative 4 times positive 9 gives negative 36. So our answer is 4 to the power negative 36. Please pause the video here, copy that down and then do the we do yourselves. And for the answer to that one, 5 to the power negative 4 all raised to the power 3. Again, multiplying the power inside the bracket by the power outside so negative 4 times 3 gives negative 12. So our answer is 5 to the power of negative 12. Mark that in green pen please. And if you got that right, that's really good. You're following on really well. Keep it up. Okay, so example 3. You can see that we've here got two negative powers. Okay, and one is even a decimal as well. Now that might look intimidating, but it's still the same method. We're still going to multiply the power inside the bracket by the power outside. So our answer to this is going to be 4 to the power of negative 4 multiplied by negative 0 0.9. And this time, remembering that a negative times a negative gives a positive answer. So negative 4 times negative 0 0.9 equals 3.6. So this is 4 to the power of 3.6. And yes, you can have a decimal as an indice. Copy that down, please, and then work through the we do. So pause the video now and just give yourself a few minutes to copy that down and then complete the we do as well. We'll go through the answer afterwards. Right, so 5 to the power of negative 4 
all raised to the power negative 0 0.3. So again, doing negative 4 times negative 0 0.3, that gives me an answer of positive 1.2. So our answer is 5 to the power of 1.2. And that's really, really good if you got that right. Really well done. And example four, so here we can see we've got a negative power inside the bracket and we've got a zero outside as well. So again, it looks different, but it's still the same process. We're still going to multiply this power inside the bracket by the power outside. So negative four times zero, well, anything times zero gives an answer of zero. So our answer is four to the power zero. Please pause the video there. Copy that down and then try the we do as well. We'll go through the answer in a moment. Okay, and last one, five to the power negative four, all raised to the power zero. So five to the power of negative four times zero equals five to the power of zero. So that's your final answer, five to the power of zero. Really well done if you got that right. Give yourself a tip. Be ready to move on to some independent practice questions now. Okay, so shown on the board are nine questions, and these are of the type that we've just seen. Apart from H and I, where we have some fractions, but don't be afraid of those ones. Again, you're just gonna multiply the power inside by the power outside. So pause the video here, there's nine questions there. Some of them get a bit tougher. So 15 minutes if you need that long. Work through those questions. So pause the video here, please. And for your answers. So there are the nine answers on the board. So please pause the video here and mark those in green pen. I want to know if anyone got nine out of nine, because that's really good if you did. Especially these last two, H and I where it got a bit trickier and it got a bit unfamiliar, but really well done if you got those right. Okay, so moving on to a plenary, just to tie up our lesson. So here I've got an exam question that I found online and it says to max, match the expressions. So we've seen all of these basic rules of indices and you've got to match the one on the left with the one on the right. So if you need to, go back in your book and remember what the rule for indices is when we divide, when we multiply, and obviously today's lesson when we're raising a power to a power. What I want you to do in your books, match each one on the left with an answer on the right, and then we'll go through the answers afterwards. So pause the video here and complete that now, please. Okay, so shown on the board are the answers to that one. So c to the power 10 divided by c to the power 5. Remembering that with our division laws, we subtract the powers. So the answer to this is going to be c to the power of 10 take away 5. 10 take away 5 gives 5. So that should be paired with c to the power of 5. Next one, c to the power 7 times c to the power 3. Remembering that when we've got two base numbers raised to a power or raised to two different powers, when we multiply, we add those powers. So 7 add 3 gives 10. So this answer is paired with c to the power of 10. Obviously, today's lesson, I'd hope that everyone got this one right. c to the power 8 in brackets raised to the power 2. Remembering that we multiply these two numbers to find out the new power. So this is going to be c to the power of 8 times 2, which gives an answer of 16. And then finally, again, it's a division one. It's just written in a slightly different way to this top one. But we still apply the same rule. This is c to the power 6 divided by c to the power 4. So our answer is going to be c to the power of 6 take away 4, which gives me 2. Okay, so c to the power of 2. Really well done if you got that right. If you've got all those right, you've covered your basic rules of indice, the first three, the division law, the multiplication law, and the power to a power rule. So really well done if you got that right. 
thank you for listening today and I'll see you again next time where we'll build on this power to a power rule with some more complicated examples. Thank you. Goodbye.